Yada yada. Why is this one crying? I don't know what to do. Should I go and do something? I don't know. I feel like this is trouble. But it would be mean of me to just ignore this person, right? Uh, maybe I should go. Hey, why are you crying? Oh no. Now I've started a conversation. <laughs> Hi there, what's up? Uh, that sounded too casual. Mm, maybe. Greetings! No, no, no. That sounds too formal this time. Um. Huh. Why are you crying? Yeah, that's perfect. Very neutral, very neutral. I know what would cheer this person up. Maybe I should just read her a story. I don't know. That even work? Uh, let's try. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, and the time came for them to leave the home and seek their fortunes. Before they left, their mother told them, Whatever you do, do it the best that you can, because that's the way to get along with the world. The first little pig built his house out of straw because it was the easiest thing to do. The second little pig built his house out of sticks. This was a little bit stronger than a straw house. The third little pig built his house out of bricks. One night, the big bad wolf, who dearly loved to eat fat little piggies, came along and saw the first little pig in his house of straw. He said, let me in, let me in, little pig, or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. Exclamation point. Now, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. But of course the wolf did blow the house in and ate the first little pig. The wolf then came to the house of sticks. Let me in, let me in. Little pig, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. But the wolf blew that house in too, and ate the second little pig. Then the wolf then came to the house of bricks. Let me in, let me in, cried the wolf, or I'll huff and I'll puff till I blow your house in. Wow, this is redundant. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, yeah, it really is redundant, said the pigs. Well, the wolf huffed and puffed, he, but he could not blow down the brick house. What is this? A twist? I thought the same thing would happen. Oh, I need to keep reading this. But the wolf was a sly old wolf, and he climbed up on the roof to look for a way into the brick house. The little pig saw the wolf climb up on the roof, and it lit a roaring fire in the fireplace. And placed it placed on it a large kettle of water. When the wolf finally found the hole in the chimney, he crawled down and... cursed splash? Whatever that means. Right into the kettle of water. And that was the end of his troubles with the big battered wolf. The next day, the little pig invited his mother all over... <clears throat> Not even I can defeat tongue twisters. The next day, the little pig invited his mother over. She said, you see it as, you see, it is just as I told you. The way to get along in the world is to do things as well as you can. Fortunately for that little pig, he learned that the lesson and he just lived happily ever after. Well, wait, wait, that's it? There has to be more, right? There has to be more. This can't be the end. The pig doesn't avenge his... The pig doesn't avenge his two brothers? That's it? But... Oh. 
No way. This can't be the end. There has to be more. No way that's the end of the story. There's a second page, but it's empty. What? What happens to... What happens to the three little pigs? What happens to the big bad wolf? The three little pigs is a fable about three pigs who build three houses of different materials. A big bad wolf blows down the first two pigs house made of straw and sticks respectively but is unable to destroy the third pigs house made of bricks. What? This can't be the end. There's no way. What about... No revenge against the wolf? I... This is impossible. What do I do? The pigs. The pigs. It can't be the end of the pigs, right? There has to be more to this story. If only I knew someone who was in publication- Oh no.